Alright, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, and I like to change the color of boots in the clip. To do this, first, make sure your clip is selected on the timeline, and then go up to the Color tab, which will open up the Lumetri Color panel, and Lumetri Color open up the Curves section under that open up the Hue Saturation curves as well. The second graph down will be the Hue versus Hue curve, which will be the one we'll be using to change colors. Click the Hue versus Used Color Picker tool, and in the preview select the color you'd like to change. Since I chose a red color, my three points are kind of far apart, to make this easier to understand. I'll use a bottom scroll bar to view them next to each other. All right now to change colors. Simply drag the middle point up or down to change the color of your object, when moving it vertically. Try not to move it to either side, or it'll change some of the similar colors like the red and your skin tone. I like these purple shoes, but you may have noticed her knees still got a little purple. Despite my best efforts, you can compare the original colors to your changes by toggling on and off the curves checkbox. This tells us that it's a different shade of red, and we can manipulate it without affecting the shoes too much like my first set of points, I only care about moving the middle point vertically, since I want to make her claws are less red. I'll move the point down away from red and towards yellow. Okay, now when I toggle this on and off her, she has changed to purple, but her knees don't. The last problem I'm noticing is that it made her lips purple. Unlike her knees, her lips are a very similar shade of red to her boots, so we won't be able to create new points just for them. If this is a case for you go over to Effect Controls, we'll see your Lumetri Color effect. Under it, select a shape you'd like to use to mask out the unwanted color change, then position the mask over your object. And you may need to resize yours a bit, but mine isn't really affecting any other colors, so I'll keep it relatively big. Keep in mind that if the object you're masking moves a lot in the frame, you may need to track it. Mine doesn't move very much, but if you need help with tracking, check out my tutorials on the subject. Now since our mask is doing the opposite of what we want it to check the inverted checkbox to swap it and fix the colors. Okay, I think this turned out looking good, but that's all from me. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.